the song that really uh, caught my attention was this one that was like at the end of the day, da, 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 da. and I just for some I just was like so like whoa what is that like hearing that melody and the, seeing the actors and their eviction and the way they sang and they performed it it was so like amazing to me I just couldn't get enough of it it was that was a moment that I was just like I couldn't stop watching it I kept rewinding it over and over again it was yeah it was very influential to me um, introducing me to a love for music. Oh, I guess you just have to suck it up and realize. I, I think you have to realize that you just. I mean, that that feeling's gonna exist, and you have to work through it anyway. It's not a matter of the feeling going away. It's a matter of getting past that feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where you have to learn and kind of like discipline yourself. <laughs> um, but when I was 10 years old, I, I, that was like my first real experience of freaking out and um, having like a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, just uh, just sucked it up at the last minute and said a prayer and went on stage and <laughs> it was really you know, good, a really great experience. You know, I think I shower too quickly to even sing them. <laughs> but I do, I sing in the car all the time. That's probably where I do most of my singing, is in the car. By myself. You know what, I listen to the oldies, oldies stations. I listen to K-Earth 101 in California. and 99.9 um, and 100.3, I don't know what they're called. But, but it's oldies music. Yeah, oldies music. And then... I'm listening to Coast 103.5 a lot there because they play Christmas music. And I just, I've been practicing all the time, so I'm already in the Christmas spirit. Oh. So I'm like, I love that. I, I'll put on Motab all the time. Uh, Motab Rock Choir. <laughs> CD. I'll, I'll sing along to that all the time. The 100 year anniversary uh, CD. And then, um, and the Call of the Serve one. And then uh, when I'm home here at the radio station, if I do, I listen to 94.1 a lot because it's the oldies stage. <laughs> I guess I've been into oldies a lot lately. I'm an Eagle Scout. Silent night, holy night. We went to Jordan River Parkway and planted a bunch of trees, a bunch of young trees. I was 17, so <laughs> almost just 18. Just right in I, time. I didn't think I'd be able to, you know, I was, but just, there was a guy in my, my neighborhood, he just totally helped me out. He was on top of me. I was never home that year, especially, but I would, I'd come home for a day and he would just be like, hey, you know, we're, I was, cause I was, I guess I was pretty, cl I was closer than I had remembered I was. Mm. And, and he, he just got on top of me. I was home for like three days and he's like, here, we need a, he's like, how long are you in town for? I'm like, I'm only here for Wednesday. I'm spending time with my family <laughs> while I have the chance. And he's like, what? And he just, you know, he was just helped make it happen for me. And I was like, you know, what? okay, let's do it. I, I want to spend time with my family, but I'll make time to finish and get the Seagull project in. And I'm so happy that I did. I'm so glad I did. Because I, I mean, beginning in Seagulls, I was the best, I was far from the best scout. I was not motivated at all. It was like making it a real possibility. And it's like, maybe hmm. I do have what it takes to, to, to make it, to become an Eagle Scout. And, then I left and I was like, well, so much for that. But then I came back and I got my eagle. So I'm, I'm really happy I did. What was his name? His name was Cal Madsen. 
Mm, cool. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's helped. I don't. I don't even know how many scouts he's probably helped get their eagle. That's a, awesome. A lot of guys who probably wouldn't have gotten their eagle otherwise. They just needed someone who believed in them and um, need just needed that little push, you know. I'm just happy to be home. <laughs> There's no place like home for the holidays. That's what I always believe. <laughs> so my favorite thing is just to be with my family, and find a good place to eat, um, and then I don't know. My birthday is three days after, so I'll probably find another good place to eat and take them there to eat, and then <laughs> maybe think about a trip to take sometime. There's this place called Simply Thai. Um, um, there's a lot of good places, but there's this place called Simply Thai. The lady's so nice. Um, she's in, it's just on the 106th across from Southtown Mall. And it's there, right there next to like this, the snowboard ski gear place. And she's so nice. She gives the, they will make their, their ice, their coconut ice cream. And she makes her, she has cooks, but she makes sure that she's the one who makes the curry every day, fresh. Mm. So it's really, really great. Jesus, no. Well, I do firesides. Oh, do you? So the last time I probably sang at a trip the meeting house was actually when we were in, last month we were in Okinawa. And um, I did a fireside um, for some of the military families. Oh. Also some of the local Okinawan members um, over there and we had a translator. <laughs> I usually just share my American Idol story because that's what everyone wants to hear. Angels from the realms of glory. I'm not very active in that and I don't like to choose sides very often. <laughs> I stay out of like sports things, oh, I political see. view, you know, political <laughs> opinions. I always try to stay out of that kind of stuff. Are you, are you red fan or blue fan? You or BYU? I'm like, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> uh, probably really bad. I don't know. I mean. I like, you know, it's fun to dance bachata or salsa, but like simple, because my mom does that. Yeah. She's um, from Honduras and she's into um, Latin music, but I just, I don't know, I feel so self conscious dancing around. But maybe, I don't know, if I had a good trainer or something, <laughs> it would be interesting. You know, it's cool when people notice. That you try to make, that you make an effort trying to live to according to certain values, and um, um, people a lot of times still comment on that more than just um, my religious background. So that's always cool. Everyone in music really knows what effect music has on other people. It affects the way you feel, the way you think. I mean, a, a song can change someone's life. That's what I've learned. And, you know, people can relate so much to a song. You can listen to a song and it can change the way you're looking at your day, change your mood. So it's very, it has a huge, it's very effective. It's very powerful. There's like a, there's just a certain power to music that um, affects people in a way that other things can't. It makes people suddenly realize things and understand things. And, um, so, it, you know, the power of good music, it can really affect what you t what's inside of you, I think. Be my father, seek the